Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is an exciting video because I am finally talking about my Nars Audacious lipstick collection. I had to wait for a few more items before filming this because I want my collection to be complete. Although this isn't complete yet because I still have one more shade that I really need in my life which is Anna which I cannot find anywhere so anyway no ranting again this is an exciting one because I will be swatching everything and I will be talking about the shade and what I think of it and all that so yeah let's proceed to the swatches before I talk about what I think about this lipsticks all in all so I'm gonna start with the nudes slash pinks. Um, I have six of those and then I have no not six. I have seven of those and I have ten dark shades because I love dark lipsticks. So I'm gonna start with the one that I've included in my recent favorites video and probably the only nude lipstick that I can wear which is Anita. This is what Anita looks like. This is a nude with a peach undertone, well for me, but then when you wear it, you can see that it also has a pink undertone in it. So let's go and try this. So this is described on the NARS website as Antique Bros. Um, you can see it's a nude color but definitely a wearable one and you can wear this as an everyday lipstick or just when you want to wear a lipstick but you don't want anything bold or nothing too colorful. So this is really a very very pretty color and I have been wearing this a lot. Um, mind you, I don't wear a lot of nude lipsticks so this is an exception definitely. Next, I will be talking about Vanessa. Um, this is somewhat similar to Anita, but a tad bit darker. So, this is Anita and this is Vanessa. Okay. similar to Anita um, but in person it's a bit browner or it has a more brown undertone um, but then in my opinion if you have Anita you don't need Vanessa or vice versa so you can choose between the two and have it in your collection but you definitely don't need both so Vanessa is described so I have the NARS website here. Vanessa is described as a mauve nude which I agree it really looks more mauve because it's browner or it's more brown. No, it's more brown than Anita. So, yeah. The next lipstick that I will be trying out is Jane. So, Jane is a more orangey or peachy color. So Jane is described on the NARS website as terracotta rose. Um, it's really more peachy when you look at it. Like you can tell, this is orangey on the lips. Um, a very nice color for every day as well and actually very unique um, it reminds me of like a brick so it's like a brick orange I don't know if there's such a term I know there's a brick red but this one reminds me of that a brick orange shade and I really like this so the next one that I will be trying out is Catherine which is also an orangey shade but this one is more subtle than um, Jane. Catherine is described as sunny guava. So if you can see, this 
this is more subtle or not subtle but lighter than um, Jean but it's still within that color range and it's a very pretty color. The next shade is called Juliet. It's still in the orangey coral family and this is how it looks like. Um, Juliet is described as a pink coral. So this is what um, Juliet looks like. It's really corally but I don't see the pink in it. Um, but it's a very lovely shade nonetheless. So. For those who are into coral shades, you definitely need this in your life. Next one is a pink shade and it's called Angela. It's in a very pretty pink. Um, I don't have anything like this in my collection yet so I am excited to have this and I've worn this before in a wedding and I really like how it looks like. Described as a pink orchid color and again a very very pretty color for those who love pink lipsticks, you'll definitely love this. Alright, so the next color that I will be trying out is Dominique. Um, this one is so unique. That's all I can say about this. Um, it's a lilac color. This is actually described as pink lilac. But when you put it on, it kind of looks grayish already. And I don't know, I'll just show you how this looks like. lovely shade. It's not actually too loud. For me, it's not too loud. Um, it can pass as a nude. I don't know. I'm weird. But because it's a purple that, um, that has a, like, a dull undertone, it doesn't look like a loud purple color. Which is, again, unique. So, how many times do I have to say unique? when I talk about this shade. I don't know. Again, this is Dominic. The next shade that I will be talking about is called Vera. So Vera is described as bright raspberry. Um, I believe this looks pink on the lips, but I actually haven't worn this yet. So um, this is what Vera looks like. that um, are a crossover between a red and a pink. It's not a red, but it's also not a pink. So it's like an in-between color, um, which I like. Um, kind of reminds me of um, the lipstick that Taylor Swift is wearing in one of her videos. I just forgot which, but this is like a Taylor Swift red because she likes to wear um, red lips but not a classic red although she also wears class classic red lipsticks but the past few videos that she released she's like wearing a pinkish red shade which again this reminds me of the next one is called sorry the next one is called Audrey so this is what Audrey looks like Audrey is described as red currant
kind of a dark red. Well, for me, this looks dark. But not as dark as like MAC Diva. Definitely lighter than that. But still darker than a true blue red. Um, so if you are a red lipstick lover, you would definitely want this in your collection. The next color that I will be talking about is Leslie. I bought this because I have been looking for the perfect brick red color. Um, I don't know if this is anything close to that, but because I haven't used this yet, so we'll see. undertone but also a brown undertone. A unique color if you're into red lipstick but you don't want a true blue red shade. So this one is a unique shade that you can definitely try. The next one that I will be trying out is called Jean. So Jean is described as a cherry red. Um, I've used this already and I really like how this looks like. It's a deep um, red color. probably think that oh no this is very similar to what's that shade again to Leslie but no this is different Leslie in Leslie you can definitely see the orange undertone this one um, is more on the brown family um, a deep red I actually think this is quite similar to Mac Diva um, and a very lovely color. This is probably one of my favorites out of all that I have. So next one is Lana. I've included this in my February favorites video. This is a an orangey red shade which is very very lovely and suitable for summer. Lana is described as a vivid orange red which is definitely true. And you can definitely tell the orange undertone in this. This is a mixture of like orange and red. Definitely no pinks and a very, very, very lovely color. Um, this reminds me of MAC Lady Danger. If you're thinking of a dupe for this, um, you can probably try that out. Next one is another red and this one is called Marlene. Marlene is described as a red brick shade. Okay, so I mentioned earlier that I am looking for that, for that perfect brick red color. Um, I don't know if this will, this for me is a brick red shade because I don't know. I can't explain it, but I'll just show you how this looks like on the lip. So 
this is how Marlene looks like. Um, this is a pretty red shade. But for me, this isn't a red brick shade. Brick red for me is something like Leslie. Which is a bit of an orangey brown color in it. This one is almost close to a true blue red. Like for me and on my lips. So I don't know for other people. But that's just my opinion about this color. Um, this is also one of my favorites in the entire collection. The next one that I will be talking about is a classic red shade. And this is called Rita. Rita is described as a scarlet. classic red color which is kind of a old Hollywood-ish color. Um, a lovely one to add in your red lipstick collection if you are a red lipstick lover like me. The next one is called Deborah. Deborah, not Deborah, Deborah. Deborah is described as a chestnut shade. This is one of the darkest shades in the collection. And you can see why. This is almost straight out brown. chestnut shade it is a brown lipstick this may not be for everyone because I don't think everyone likes wearing brown lipsticks but this is a lovely shade this definitely makes it to my top three favorite Nars Audacious lipsticks wait that says a lot but probably a top five or probably part of the top five I really love this color last two I'm gonna talk about the first NARS Audacious lipstick that I bought. This started out this addiction and it's called Leave. Leave is described as deep aubergine. Um, this is lovely. This started out this whole addiction like the, what I've said earlier and this lasts on the lips for hours. for hours. When I bought this, I've worn this for like 4 hours without retouching and it stays on forever. <laughs> no, not forever. That's, a, that's an exaggeration. But this stays on for hours. And a very lovely color at that. The last one is somewhat similar to Leave and again, one of their darkest shades and it's called Ingrid. Now, this is the reason why I bought Leave. So, here's the story. Um, I went to the Norris Boutique or Norris Counter in Glorietta. I know. Yeah, in Glorietta. And I was originally looking for Ingrid because Ingrid Nielsen of Miss Glamorazzi talked about this in her, in one of her 2014 favorites. And I was like, I need that in my life. But they don't have it. And then, um, I swatched leave and they look similar. So, I got leave instead and yeah again that's what started this addiction so anyway 
Let's just watch this thing. So this is Eve and this is Ingrid and you can tell that they are very similar. So I suggest that you go get just one of these. You don't need both because they are very similar. Um, but I don't know why. I think Ingrid's formula is creamier than Eve. I don't know. I I think they should. They are supposed to have the same formula but when I wear leave it's drying at first swipe but not with Ingrid so Ingrid is definitely creamier in my opinion than leave. Ingrid is described as Merlot so there you go so those are all my NARS audacious lipsticks so the lipsticks have a magnetic closure and these are also um, Magnetized. Is that what you call it? Anyway, what I'm saying is that when you place them side by side, they kind of stick together and you can actually display this on top of your vanity and you don't have to think of ways or what container you could use to store this because the packaging is amazing. I actually just, you know, arrange them in like a cube. So something like this and then I just put this on top of my vanity and that's all I need. That's how I store or how I display this lipstick. Again, I am so obsessed with these lipsticks. Um, I gravitate toward them often, if not all the time that I wear makeup. Everything has good formulation. Well, except for you, like what I've said, because it's drying. I'm not sure why. I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe I got a bad piece or something. But, um, product-wise, this is a very good product. I never bought a Norris lipstick before. So, these are the only Norris lipsticks that I own. I don't have their old lipsticks. I don't know what formula that those lipsticks have but I can tell you that the NARS Audacious lipsticks are the best in the market as of the moment um, just to give you an idea I am a lipstick lover I love lipsticks I own 30 plus MAC lipsticks I am such a fan of MAC that I only buy lipsticks from them so again this was the first when I bought Leave, that was the first time that I bought something from NARS. No, not really something. I have their blushes, but I don't have their lipsticks. So that was the first lipstick that I bought from NARS. And I was blown away, and here I am, addicted to these things. These are incredible. The formulation are great. It's, they are all pigmented. If you've noticed, I only swiped like twice for every color, and it gave off everything gave off good pigmentation and coverage so these are uh, I don't know how else I could explain the amazingness that are narcissus lipsticks but if you're thinking about getting this and you're quite on the fence about this because of the price what I can say is that this are worth every penny yes they are a lot expensive than let's say MAC lipsticks or other like drugstore lipsticks duh. but you get amazing you get an amazing product for the price so you won't regret it let me tell you that but you have to be really picky when it comes to the shades because there are a lot of similar shades throughout the collection and to be honest you don't need all 40 shades because like what I've said, some colors are similar, like Vanessa and Anita, Ingrid and Liv, Marlene and Leslie, they are quite similar. So you, you just choose one. And this may be pricey, it costs 
like $32 or 1,600 pesos, which is twice the price of a MAC lipstick. But, but you get products with very good quality, so you won't regret it. Well, that's just me. So, there you go. Hope you guys like this video and find this video helpful if you're thinking about buying this product. Again, I gave this two thumbs up. Um, I really love this. I'm just looking for one more shade, which is Anna. And once I have that, I'm done. I'm done buying this lipstick. So again, hope you guys find this video helpful and interesting and sorry if the swatches or the lip swatches look sloppy toward the end of the video. That's how lip swatches go even for other video vloggers, let me tell you that. So that's all for now and see you again in my next video. Bye!